Hey everyone, before we jump into it, I want to take a second to talk about the sponsor of this video, Aura. I just did a quick Google search about my number, address, former addresses, a lot of private information, and I was shocked with how easy it was to find that information online. That's where Aura comes in. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. They will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketer requests. If you're interested, click my link in the description for a free two-week trial and see what information they're sharing of yours. Back to the video. What's up, everyone? Discraft and Ledgestone just sent me some discs. They sent me an assortment of stuff that I'm gonna try out. Uh, I got this little break in my season, so it'll be cool to, to see what kind of fits, what I wanna try out, see if there's anything I wanna add to the tour because some courses set up for specific shots, so for specific shots, you kinda need specific discs. This is the 2022 Ledgestone Edition Luna Jawbreaker. If you like the Luna, but you don't like the Rubber Blend or the CT, this is something that you'll wanna check out. Um, they do have some flex to them, so if you want Lunas for the winter, this is definitely the one, but also the gumminess, the tackiness, and uh, they feel like good throwers, so I'll toss them right down this fairway here behind me. Do I have any wind? A slight tail left to right. Very, very straight flight. It's not really moving left or right. Are you still recording? Yeah. All right, so three mids, three putters. I'll go with the slowest of the putters first. Got the Banger GT. If you can see, they got little dynamite. It looks like dynamite, little stamp. Blacked out. I think they call them midnight Banger GTs. Definitely got the over stability. And if you know anything about the Banger GT, it's unique because of the GT top. Um, next one right here, Northwood Black Stamp. Stat Mando, home of the two hardest par fives on tour. This is a Discraft Ringer. Feels kind of like a zone with a bead. So I'm gonna throw it like I would a zone. Very slow, slightly overstable. And then the other one I have here is the Ledgestone Zone. The Midnight Zone, which if you know a zone, this is gonna be overstable. There it goes. So it's like a little faster than the Banger GT, but it dumps at the end. Compared to the Banger, I wanted to like glide left. This thing kind of just gets vertical and drops out of the sky. All right, next one up, I got the Z Metallic Comet. Um, if you know anything about my history with Discraft, when I first switched over, the Comet was a disc I did not know how to throw. But let's see if I've learned it. Z Metallic Comet. I think it went pretty far with that tailwind. Never got it to flat, but uh, the thing cruised a ways. Discraft Glide. Hannah, what do you think of the stamp? It's really cute. <laughs> so this is like a, I would call these like hybrids. Like it feels like it wants to be a driver, but it's like a mid-range width. Let's see what it flies like. Very understable, but like it's fighting out of it. Very understable, but it's fighting out of it. So if you're looking for like a, I'm just gonna say a hybrid between a mid and a fairway, that one, it feels good in the hand because it feels like a driver, but it also feels control controllable like a mid range. And then another 2022 edition, Z Swirl Wasp. I throw a Wasp, but I throw a CT Wasp, which I throw for my understable because they'll beat in really quick and I can get them to hyzer flip and such. This, I know Hamas loves the Wasp, so let's see. Yeah, there it goes. I threw that with a touch of Anheuser and it snapped out to flat and then kind of just uh, cruised for a ways and then finished with some over stability. Now I'm gonna grab some fairways. First one here, Z Metallic Heat. I'm a big fan of the heat. I use it for rollers, but I also use it for like tricky shots where I can't get a lot of power behind it, but I want it to still fly and carry. This is one that I can really maneuver. Um, and Z Metallic is honestly one of my favorite plastic blends, uh, just the look of it, the feel. Then you got the Z Metallic Stalker here. Looks like it's got the Ben Callaway logo. So I don't know if this was a little Ledgestone series for him. Next one up, this one's hard to see because of the foil, but it's an ESP Swirl Undertaker. Can't tell if it's got a name on it. And then last one, this one I know just dropped. Fly Die Ledgestone Edition Z Raptor. And if you know anything about this see-through plastic like this, it's probably more like a crystal. So you're gonna get some stability. So I'll start with the most understable. 
the heat. I'm gonna throw an air shot with this one. Just kind of how I would if it was the heat in my bag. Just cruised out there, real easy distance. Um, and as you saw at the very end, it wanted to finish right, which is very unique for brand new discs. Oh, upside down, here we go. The stalker. Very straight, slow flight. Um, stalker is one that you're either throwing a stalker, an undertaker, or a mantis. I feel like those three are very similar in flight. The undertaker being the quickest of the three but they all feel completely different. If you want that kind of flight, or what this one's gonna show, just go grab the three of them, see which one feels the best for you, and go with that mold. But here we go, ESP, ESP Swirl Undertaker. And if you put those over each other, they probably fly almost the exact same. The Undertaker is a touch faster, so you can see it's got the finish at the end. Mantis, Stalker, Undertaker, three different feels almost the exact same flight. And the most overstable one of this fairway group, the Raptor. I'm just gonna throw it flat and show you the stability of it. And there it goes. Obviously, you see how it flies. You know it's gonna be an overstable fairway. Very useful in the wind, or if you need the disc to go left, or if you need to throw a flex shot. Very useful fairway driver. Last but not least, the distance drivers that I have here. Um, first one up, the Michael Johansson Z Scorch, the Nuke Z Metallic, Nuke, just another Ledstone Edition, and then the Nuke OS. This is a lightweight, 64 to 66. So I'm gonna start with the most understable here, in my opinion, the Scorch. And what I've always noticed with the Scorch is it just feels like a bigger heat, like a distance driver version of the heat, so. All right, so we had to switch mics. The one kept dying on us, but uh, if you go back and watch the heat and you put the Scorch next to it, you can see the Scorch is a lot faster, similar flight, um, but when you do get faster in the driver, you're gonna get a little bit more squirrely action unless you're going overstable. Very useful disc, the Scorch. Um, I know a lot of people seem to get their max distance with the Scorch, so definitely check that out. Surge SS, haven't thrown these really ever so I'm just going to give it a touch of hyzer because I know the SS is more the understable version. Definitely oh. understable. Understable, but almost identical to the Scorch. I just got some more air under that one. So yeah, similar to the Scorch. So I guess it's a preference. It does that. I will say that the Scorch and the Surge SS do feel different even though they have similar flight, which is kind of what I mentioned earlier with the fairways, the Stalker, Mantis, and Undertaker. Feel is a big thing. I'm, I'm a feel guy when it comes to how the discs feel in my hand before how they perform. Now to the big boys, got the Nuke, the Z Metallic Nuke. It's got a slight dome to it, so I'm expecting some overstability out of it. Uh-oh. It's low. Had a good finish to it. And then I've been hearing a lot about these Nuke OS's in the lighter weight. Nate Heinold, I'm gonna quote him, the most overstable disc he's ever seen in his life. So, his words. I'm gonna just give a little Anheuser rip. Definitely not the most overstable disc I've ever thrown in my life, but like a really good flight. Like that carried some distance there and I didn't throw it too hard because I didn't want to embarrass Nate Heinold right now. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw them all back to where we are now and try to just land them in the circle to see if I've learned how they fly just from the first throw. So that's one cool thing I like to do too is like not only am I just throwing them in a the field to see how they fly and how far, now can I actually control that disc. So uh, do you want to stay here, Hannah, or do you want to Come over there. You don't need audio. See the catch cam flight. Okay, cool.
And uh, this nuke was actually pretty overstable, so I'll probably mess around with that a little bit more. But the rest are, are discs that I already have slots for, and like I said with the Stalker, the Undertaker, they kind of overlap and I already have the Undertaker. Um, so I guess we're giving them away. 